If you really want to take your physique to the next level and get in the best shape of your life this far, then you can't just wing it. You need a systematic approach if you want to see lasting real change because it's not always as simple as just calories in versus calories out. What's up everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going over one of the most effective ways to transform your physique and health in 2024. And that's taking a phasic approach to training and nutrition. The goal of a phasic approach to training and nutrition is to set yourself up for success for the following phases and avoid the downsides of staying in a single phase, fat loss phase, for too long. What happens a lot is that someone wants to lose fat and have more muscle, look better, but they've been yo-yo dieting for years, their health metrics are in bi feedback are horrendous. So fat loss doesn't really happen. So what does a phasic approach look like? It's divided into several different key phases. The first is a primer or a health phase. The second is a building phase, followed by a fat loss phase, reverse diet, and then maintenance phases. In each of these phases, we focus on specific training and nutrition strategies to optimize your progress and ensure that you achieve your goals in a sustainable way. So whether you're just getting started or you've been at this for years, this approach can help help you break through those barriers and start to see real lasting results. All right, let's get started with the primer health phase. So this is where almost everyone should start. Now, if you're already in a good spot with your health and your metrics and all that stuff, then you're good. You can go ahead and move on to the next phase. This isn't necessary for everyone, but it definitely cannot hurt. Think of this phase as laying the groundwork or the foundation to make your body more responsive to what's coming next, like muscle building or fat loss phases. Now, as for this training, when it comes to training in this first phase, the goal isn't to push yourself to the brink of exhaustion. Instead, aim for three to four days of resistance training per week and you could alternate between full body workouts or an upper lower split, whatever feels right for you. But the goal here isn't to set any personal records. Focus on quality movements, full range of motion, and really working those muscles in some lengthened positions. And don't forget about aerobic conditioning or that slow and steady conditioning. It's a great way to add in plenty of low intensity cardio. And this type of exercise is gonna be great because it's low stress and it's more restorative in nature, helping with things like digestion, mood, and energy levels. Plus it's gonna help build mitochondria, which are crucial for energy production. So by building more mitochondria, you're going to be better at burning calories and just be having more energy throughout the day. Now let's talk nutrition. During this phase, you wanna eat plenty of food, usually around your maintenance calories. As your activity levels increase, you might find that you need to eat even more. The focus here is also on quality. So load up on high quality, minimally processed foods and make sure that you're getting plenty of both macro and micronutrients to help support your overall health. I also recommend supplementing with a high quality multivitamin like those from Thorn. There'll be a link down in the description and that's gonna get you 50% off all Thorn products forever. Just click the link, make an account and that discount will be tied to your account. So what can you expect from this phase. You should see improvement in your energy levels, sleep quality, motivation, and stress. While the primary goal isn't necessarily to change your body composition, to lose fat or put on muscle, you'll likely notice some positive changes there too. Now, most importantly, this phase is all about setting a strong foundation, better digestion, improved sleep, more energy, less stress, and a better mood are all benefits that you'll likely experience if you did this phase correctly. And all of this is gonna set you up perfectly for the more intense phases to come. So now that we've set the foundation and laid the groundwork, it's time to move into the building phases. Now this phase is all about adding muscle. You see, when you're in a fat loss phase, calories are restricted, making it tough to build muscle. So we're going to tackle the muscle building first to ensure that you have a solid base when it's time to shed fat. In this phase, we're cranking up the intensity when it comes to training. Your goal is to push closer to failure during most of your training sessions. Now, while cardio isn't the focus here, keeping one to two sessions per week can still be beneficial, but again, not necessarily required. Nutrition wise, we're continuing to fuel our bodies with plenty of food to support recovery from those intense training sessions. Eating at maintenance or slightly above maintenance calories is going to be the sweet spot during this phase. So the aim here is to pack on muscle while keeping fat gain to a minimum. And by focusing on muscle building now, you're gonna set yourself up for more success in the upcoming fat loss phase. Trust me, taking this route will yield much better results when it comes to losing fat and getting our dream physique. Think more muscle and less fat when we're done. 
All right, phase three, fat loss. By now you've built some solid muscle and your body should be in a great place and it's time to dive into a fat loss phase. Now the goal here is to reveal that muscle that you just worked so hard to build. To keep all that hard earned muscle, your training intensity should stay high, sort of similar to the building phase that you are in. You might wanna increase your cardio a bit, but it's not a must if your calorie intake is well managed. And I wouldn't encourage starting off with really high cardio at the beginning of your fat loss phase. If you enjoy eating more, adding a few extra cardio sessions can help balance things out. Now, this is where things get interesting. For the first time, we're going to be dropping calories to create a deficit. And since we want to keep our muscle, protein intake will be higher than in the other phases. I would keep fats as low as possible while still being at a healthy level and let the rest of your calories come from your carbohydrates. This phase, it's also very important to ensure that you're getting plenty of micronutrients since we're getting less calories and less energy overall. Again, I would recommend getting a multivitamin from Thorne. Thanks to the previous phases, your body is primed for success here. You'll see better results, meaning more muscle and less body fat than if you had tried to lose fat right from the start. This phase is all about uncovering the work that you've put in in the previous phases and really seeing those muscles pop. By now, you've hit your fat loss goals and muscle building goals. Now it's time to transition out of the fat loss phase and increase your calories through a reverse diet. Think of this phase as stepping up your game to improve your hormonal health, your metabolism, muscle building, and just your overall well being. We don't want to stay in a fat loss phase for too long. With more calories coming in, you can also now ramp up the intensity of your training. Initially, you can dial back the cardio a bit to let your body adjust. During this phase, we're going to be raising your total calorie intake to a higher new maintenance level compared to the initial primer phase. You can slightly reduce protein and welcome an increase in both carbs and fats. Here, we want to enjoy the extra fuel. The aim here is to bring your body to a new maintenance level, maintaining your leanness while increasing your overall health. You should notice improvements in biofeedback markers like your overall sleep, stress, mood, and motivation. This phase helps you stabilize and prepare for whatever your goal might be next. Now that you've significantly transformed your physique, it's time to maintain that level of leanness and muscle mass. This phase is all about keeping your hard-earned results stable. At this point, you have the flexibility to choose your next move. You can either stay in maintenance mode, jump into another fat loss phase, or dive into another building phase to add even more muscle to your frame. As for training, your routine during the maintenance phase should keep up the intensity without overdoing it. Again, this is gonna depend on which route you decide to go. It's all about finding a sustainable balance that's going to keep you in this new physique. Stick to a balanced diet that maintains this current physique. So this means keeping your calorie intake at a level that holds your weight steady at this new higher maintenance. You can adjust your macros to suit your needs, making sure that you get enough protein, carbs, and fats to support your muscle mass and energy levels. Again, with a little bit more calories, you don't need as high of protein levels. Now, depending on which path you chose, the goal here is to keep your body in its improved state, ready for or whatever you decide comes next. Whether you decide to maintain, go into another fat loss phase, or start a new muscle building phase, this maintenance period is going to help you stay on track and sets you up for continued success. The phasic approach to training and nutrition is a journey that can easily take a year or more. And I know that that sounds like a long time, but if you're serious about making significant lasting changes, then you have to be willing to play the long game. And guess what? The time will pass either way. So you might as well get jacked in the process. Unfortunately, many people ignore this structured approach and end up spinning their wheels, stuck in the same place with the same physique for years to come. Don't be that person. Take the time to do it right and you're going to be amazed at the results that you see. If you're looking to take your fitness journey to the next level and want personalized guidance along this phasic approach to training and nutrition, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you every step of the way. Together we can create a plan tailored to your unique goals and lifestyle. So if that sounds interesting, click the link down in the description to learn more and get started with an application. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment down below. We'll see you here in the next video. Peace.